Alright, Mr. Renault, care to tell me what we are doing today? We're playing random games on Newgrounds. Excellent. I used to play on Newgrounds all the fucking time, so there are a lot of games I really like on it. So I have no idea what you're doing. This is called Amorphous Plus. It's basically Amorphous, but with saves. I don't know what Amorphous is. Um, basically, I'm this guy with a sword, you know, and I, I'm, I'm cutting these things in two. They're called gloopals? Yep, these are gloopals, specifically. So are you a bald cloud stripe? I think so, I don't know. Like a bald cloud stripe with an asymmetrical shirt that's just like a gradient of blue, because both sides are blue. One is more of a sky blue, the other's a dark blue. And when you cut when you cut multiple ones, it increases their value. The green ones can't hurt you. The yellow ones leave a sticky glob that if you touch, you get a uh, you become sticky, and so you're slower. So they just on your face and you slow down. Basically. Yeah, the green ones can't hurt you. See, you can walk into them and nothing bad will happen. Seems obnoxious though. And the yellow ones also can't hurt you, but they slow you down. Yeah, they can negatively impact you. The green ones are just there. They're the Goombas. They're not even Goombas. Goombas can hurt you. Goombas can hurt you if you're not paying attention. Yeah. These... You know what else can hurt you if you're not paying attention? You. Yeah, yeah whenever, whenever you hit multiple ones, it doubles the point value of that uh, Gloopal. So because I got three in that swing... Oh, here's a biter. First one that can hurt me. It lunges at you, and if it hits you, it kills you. But if it's not lunging, it can't hurt you. I feel like there's a, a joke about biting here somewhere. Mm -hmm. The first one that can hurt me. Which, you know. I actually don't find the yellow ones that bad. Ooh, unless you manage to. There's a melty. They turn into lava. Oh, God. But yeah, basically their splat can kill you and other things. So you can use it defensively. You can put it between you and something that will kill you. So what happens if you manage to successfully kill all 100 or the remainder? You get a thing. That is an amalgam. They suck. They can eat other things and they can eat you. If they eat something, they get another one. <laughs> yeah. Look at you go. You eat me. Menu. I got a key. So let's go to rewards. And I want... I know what all these items are already. That's just a turret gun. And here's a bestiary to learn what they are. Amalgams suck. And here are all of my awards. Yay! All your achievement moguls. Yeah. But now I have an item so I can th press A and throw down a turret gun that'll help me out. It just will kill 30 random ones over a course of time. And it'll recharge after you use it. Excellent. So I don't want I don't want to use it right away. I want to save it for when I start getting overwhelmed. How come it's always overwhelmed or underwhelmed? Why can't it just be whelmed? Okay, Robin. Fight me. Don't. Just keep playing the game. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm gonna have trouble turning. But part of the dangerous things about Gloopals is if they hit each other, they have a chance of turning into a Super Gloopal. What's a Super Gloopal? Depends on what two hit each other. Let's say just the two beginning ones. Uh, it turns into... Uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's basically a larger version, except it can kill you. It's large enough that it can eat you. Is it like Oh, there it is. It's and so it takes three hits to kill. So is it like an amalgamate then? Yeah, except amalgamates can heal themselves. Whereas those guys can't. Purple two. one. Purple one spits babies at you and the babies slow you down. So I'm guessing two lungers will be something fucking terrifying. It's called a horror. And they're awful. I kind of want to stay away from the edge because you can get blindsided there. Yeah. Hit. Yeah. Only if they're alike, though. Ones that aren't alike can't fuse. Okay, that was going to be my next question. But two of those big guys will fuse into an amalgam. Okay, so an amalgam is four. Amalgam is basically worth four of these guys. But the main problem with an amalgam is the fact that they can heal themselves. So they, they'll kill Gloopals too, and it doesn't count for your Gloopals left count. And they heal a hit every time they kill one. So they get really difficult really fast. And the amount of lives they have just stacks. And can they it, become a serious problem. Can amalgamates fuse? Ha. Oh, I don't know if they can. If they can, it's super rare and I haven't seen it. 
Uh, what about the lava ones? No, lavas will just kill each other if they bounce at each other. Same with stickies. And I've never seen a purple hit another purple, but I'm pretty sure they can't because of their ability to replicate. Because that would just make it too common and too easy to run into. That'd be confusing. And you can totally kill them while they're forming, and they end up just being one hit and worth half points. Right, like I said, uh, you have an achievement for that called Competitive Measures. Yeah, you get less points for it, but it's a lot easier. It's a preventative measure. Yeah. And as we get closer to the end, it starts throwing more difficult shit at me. Yay! Die. So when would be a good time to throw down that turret? I'm going to throw it down once I hit 30. Just because I haven't felt overwhelmed yet, so I haven't felt like I needed it. You're an adept. Yep. I'm good at this game. I have one. I didn't 100% it actually. One of the guys to kill is really hard. One of the achievements is you kill the hardest guy twice. You should hit A. Yep, wasn't paying attention. Oh, but you want to keep melting you off of that guy. And you don't want to hit it yourself because you can break it. Weird. Just dodge in there. Sorry, you did. Oh, that's not going to spawn a super one. And I don't think it can kill you. I gave me reward key. Hooray! Yep, wrong button. It doesn't matter what I grab now. Because I only get one slot. And I got the thing I wanted. And this one has 350 instead of the 200 the other one has. So why did you choose this game? Because it's really fun and I've wasted a lot of hours in it. And I remember how mo No, I just remembered Amalgamate's confused and they turn into a black hole. Oh. I just remembered that. It's terrifying. And it's terrible. It's this thing that can shoot lasers at you, except the lasers draw you in, and if you touch it, you disintegrate. There's supposed to be like a time in which it's invincible, but I never figured out what that, when that was. Before I stopped playing. Yeah, I just remembered that they can fuse, and it's terrifying. Come on, ramp up the difficulty, start sending in the biters. So that way I at least feel like I'm fighting something. Instead of just picking off fish in a barrel. So you're saying you like biters? Don't make me beat you. Am I right? I have a giant sword, don't make me beat you. Uh, you do not have a giant sword. I have a sword. That's just a video game representation of a character you're playing as having a sword. Am I wrong? Spider. I love waiting until they lunge at you. So I just want everyone to know, canonically, Keith likes spiders. I won't hurt you. That's funny. And you're not. Yes, I am. I'm hilarious. No. Strikingly handsome. Bill Burnham is hilarious. Yes, he is. Ryan Reynolds is strikingly handsome. Oh God. You really deserve that. <laughs> Almost got me. Also, biters can't attack if they're covered in sticky goo. But I agree that Ryan Reynolds is indeed a handsome man. <clears throat> Do you think Ryan Reynolds got this far? On his acting talent alone? On his superior acting <laughs> method? Oh, oh, I ran into him. I was trying to juke him out and just go around him, but I didn't. <laughs> Do you think Ryan Reynolds got this far on his superior acting method? Bounty run. Let's just do bounty run. Because it's just infinite guys. This way I don't have to worry about getting kicked. And this way I can show off the weirder ones because I set it to give me the difficult shit fast. The bounty run is just score attack. It lasts forever. There's no like, oh, you're done once you reach this many points. Nope, it goes, goes until you die. And I told it to ramp up the difficulty quickly. Does time and or space last forever? It depends. It's a question for someone who is smarter than I. Is it indeed a finite thing? I don't know. Apparently Green Lantern energy is finite. Which is the dumbest fucking plot point I've ever seen in a Green Lantern comic book. Well, is it just in the rings, or is it where... No, the battery that they get their power from is finite. And once it runs out, emotions disappear from the universe. Like, fuck you. How does that make sense? It doesn't! That's why it's stupid. And they're like, yeah, this is our new plot point. It's finite. Fuck you. You're not clever. You're not interesting. So why do they keep abusing it, then? Exactly. If that's the source of all emotions, why don't you find a different power source to fight crime with? Because it's clearly, like, oh, the, the blue people in Oh, charge. God. Fuzzy. Oh, my God, it's adorable. It's not adorable. It's a biter, but it takes 
extra hits to kill. Get the purple guy. It's adorable. They can't fuse, though. Cool. And they grow their hair back over time. Oh, ho, 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 got lucky. And if they get off screen, they disappear. So, off screening is not invalid. It's a tactic. So, yeah, I mean, they make it clear that the blue. Ah, that's an inky. It makes you. It makes your controls suck. It gives you really floaty controls for a bit. Like, ice physics. It makes it clear that the, the blue people are aware of how the power source works. They just don't tell people because they're dicks. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I was like, why isn't my shot working? Because oh, I was pressing the wrong button. And now I died. They make it clear that they know everything about everything. So, I don't... Why yeah. would you absorb a finite resource and then be upset when it's gone? It's like, it's like oil. We know it's finite, so we should try and go to something better. Yeah. It's just people are stubborn and greedy and like, ah, it won't be my problem when I'm dead. Yeah. Because humans are fickle. But you know what? That's going to be it for Amorphous. Move on to a different game. Okay. We've been recording for five minutes. We'll keep this a single episode. Let's play Necronomicon 2.0. What happened to 1.0? It's not as fun. Like the other one, it's the same game, but without saves. This is Yu Yo. No. It's a card game. I made him discard. Arcane increases damage from certain attacks. That reduces damage, and that's poison. You take damage every turn. <laughs> you use your tank to poison. Oh. He summoned a better creature than me. Uh -huh. Whenever I take damage, my creature attacks. But, uh. His will attack too, and if my creature is weaker than his, he doesn't take damage. But if mine is stronger, he takes the difference. Burn your brain! Yeah, spells cost sanity, and if your sanity hits zero, you get a random status condition. That sounds actually kind of cool. Yeah, it is. And, like, some of them aren't terrible, but some of them are good. Like, and as you level up, you start with more life and less sanity. So towards the beginning of the game, you're not gonna you're not gonna run out of sanity unless you really fuck up. I don't know why I didn't use that right away, because it's poison. At the end of every single set of turns, he's gonna take one damage. I don't know why I didn't use that right away. Because you're not paying attention. Yeah. You know what I like is that they actually have the art, who it's by. Yeah, it's really card. cool. It's a very good, appropriate touch. Yeah. And I have two things, so. And I'm invulnerable, so the next attack doesn't do damage to me. Unless it uses a gun, because guns ignore invulnerability. Oh. Because this is just magic defense. The king in yellow? Ha 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 Ah, he removed my taint. And then tainted me, which is why I kept onto this instead of using it. Because it removes your taint and it gives your opponent taint. You gain that in life. You need a fucking up. Like someone to shog it. Which is six, and it eats his creature. What? Why did he gain plus three life? Because that's the effect of his card. Oh. Gain three life. Oh, arcane plus three. No one knows where the manuscript's coming from. No. Except they probably do. Dark young charge. This will kill him. You so win. I ranked up to hoodlum. And that's now added to my uh, library. To your library! Yep. So now there's another card in my library. Which gives me Arcane plus 5, which is pretty good, actually. I mean. So you lost 10 sanity, but you gained 5 life. No, I lost 10 sanity and gained 5 Arcane. No, no, when you leveled up to a hoodlum. Oh, yeah. You lose, you lose, you lose sanity as you take damage. Or as you level up. It seems dangerous. Yep. Like it a makes fire it more... in a nursing home. It makes it easier to run out of sanity, too. Sounds dangerous. Some items give you sanity back, but not many. It's a Necronomicon. Why would it give you back sanity? Mm -hmm. Well, there are, like, asylums and shit that give you uh, sanity back. And my personal favorite, a Tommy Gun. Yeah, Tommy Gun ignores invulnerability, so I'm probably going to use that. While I, while I wait to get Dispel, so I can get rid of his invulnerability. He ate my creature! 
Yeah, it hurts when they're using banished his creature and reverted his thing to zero and he removed his team fuck are you getting your balls rocked i'm not getting my balls rocked i'm just not doing as well as i'd like getting your testicles ruined oh and if you discard a card you gain sanity arkham equal to asylum. asylum yeah arkham asylum and batman is a reference to the cthulhu mythos oh yeah and it's gained 15 sanity which i don't need because i have 24 Did you just banish a creature you didn't have? Yep. Now I have a creature that can do damage. Ignores defense. Shit. He removed my defense. Oh. Except I did 15 and gained 3 life. The only problem is his creature ignores my creature's power, so I'm only doing 1 for my creature, but he's still able to do 3. And I have to discard. Let's get rid of the discreet doctor. Because I have Essence of the Soul to drink. It does better. Yeah, it, it, the only problem is it's a huge sanity drop at three. Ew. And I really like its quote. It tastes so vile, but feels so good. Feels so good. So it nice. damage to equal to his creature's power and my arcane. Yay. Dun, dun, dun. Fuck. That there hurt. Hold my. Hold the ash. Gonna have to use that Essence of the Soul now. Yeah, that's a steep sandy cost for a card. It's usually one or two, but three. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna need something that can kill him. Draw something that can do five. That did nothing. Don't do damage. I lose. Rat a tat 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 tat. You're a mobster now, at least. Yeah, but I still lost, so I have to go back to the beginning of the game. Oh. What was the point of upgrading you to a mobster? To prove that I at least earned it by doing well enough. That's stupid. You, yeah. you lost. You died. Should we make this a long episode and just play multiple games? Uh, I think we can split it up into two sections. Okay. Well, split will happen here, I guess. Bye-bye.